Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is jump game. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We solve a lot of interview question on this channel and that can definitely help you with your interview. The question says, given an array of non-negative integers, you are initially positioned at first index of the array. Each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position. Determine if you are able to reach the last index. And we are going with example. If you look at example number one, we are going with 2, 3, 1, 1, 4. And from first index, if I take two jumps, I will reach here. Then I will take one jump, I will come here. Another, I will take one jump, I will reach to the last index. So the answer will be true. And if I come at example number two, from here, I will take three jumps, I will come here. From here, the value is zero. That means I can't take any jump. That means I can't reach to the last index. So the answer should be false. Let's move on to the pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that, we will see the code. I have taken the example given in the question. And in the given array, every single element is the maximum jump we can take. By using these jumps, we need to tell whether we can reach by the end of the array or to the last index. And if you can make it, that means answer is true. If not, then answer should be false. So let's see. From here, it's two. So that means I can take two jumps. I came here, but I found a better jump option. That means I get a bigger value. And if I get a bigger value, I will choose that. So from here, I will take three jumps and I reach the end. That means answer is true. And this is not a rule that we have to choose the maximum value. We can like if we make simple two jumps, then one jump, then again one jump, we can reach. Let's see the second example. At first index, the maximum jump is three. So I came here, then I came here, then I came here. And I found after coming here, the maximum jump value is zero. That means I can't move forward. That means I can't reach the end. So the answer will be false. If you see this part again, what we did here, I took one step from here, I came here, then I took three steps and I reached to the end. That means my these steps values should be at least equal to index value. Let's see it again. I came here, it was two. Then I take one jump. I came here, then I take three jump. I reach to the end. So if I say that, hey, I give you a, a array with five index. And if I ask you that, you need to come here. If you take all the potential steps to reach to the end, the sum of those values should be at least equal to five. Because if that's not the case, you can't reach here. This is what happening here. I started from here. I took three jumps. I reach here. But we don't have any value here. So the maximum jump we take was three and the index was 4. As our max jump we took or let's name it the reach we can take is less than index we need to reach. So the answer will be false. Because this was the maximum reach by the end here that was 3 because even if I add zero here, it will be three only. So what we will do, we'll make a variable by reach, which will be zero initially. And my reach will be maximum of the reach we have already and 
i plus nums i and what is i this is index so let's try it with the example so let's take this one so initially we have reached zero and we took two so our new reach will be maximum of zero and index plus numsi so index is zero numsi is two so maximum of zero and two that will be two i came to three so now my max reach will be max our initial reach that is two and i which is index one plus numsi which is three and why we are taking i because if I reach to 2 or if I say if I reach to index 1 that means I have taken at least one step so my reach will become here 4 when I came to 1 here so my max reach was 4 and we have i equal to 2 and num size 1 so that will be 4 and 3 so we will keep our reach equal to 4 I came here now it will become max reach which is 4 and my index is 3 plus 1 so it will become max of 4 and 4 so I will take 4 and then we reach to the end and this is what we are talking about at least our reach should be equal to our index if at any index my index value is greater than my reach that means i can't make till that point why because as i told you guys if i'm coming here there is no way i can reach to third index if i don't have the max reach equal to three there is no way you can try it with an example if i take one 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 so i'm taking one step each time i reach here that is equal to three if i make two zero one that means this is also equal to three and let's make it one one two this is not less than three and what we are talking about that it should be at least equal to it can be greater than index that's fine but it should be at least equal to index anytime our index is greater than reach that means the answer is false so let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so this is the code i made a variable max reach which is zero initially and it took a for loop in length of nums and if at any time my index is greater than my max reach that means i will simply return false because this is not possible else i will take out my max reach which will be maximum of the already value i have max reach and my index plus the jump we have that very particular index or the value of at that very particular index in the nums and at the end if we didn't get false i will simply return true so let's see so let's see whether it works or not so here i submitted my code and it got accepted so this was the code for this problem if this video was helpful to you please give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe